All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the time is 10 o'clock. Um, the time is Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's 10.05 my time, and then um, welcome to Equipart Day 2 um, training. My name is Victoria Waifo. I'm the project manager of Women Radio 91.7. Um, it's a pleasure to have you here uh, and to welcome you again to another day of Equipart. We had um, the training yesterday, and um, we believe and we know from the feedback that we've gotten so far that um, it was quite engaging and quite um, um, insightful. Equipa is an initiative of Women Radio 91.7 with a mandate to empower women and girls where they can learn practical skills to be financially independent. You agree with me that a lot of women are disadvantaged financially and so um, they suffer some kind of economic losses. So for us, Equipa is a deliberate move to achieve gender equity equality and to empower all women and girls in Nigeria. This episode is not, um, would not be successful if for the support of Digitville, uh, which is our partner for this um, edition of Equipart 2021. I want to also thank uh, Mr. Emmanuel for making our time to do this with us today. Shortly, we'll be having him come on to take over the training. I just want to implore you to take the most of this opportunity and um, wish you a very great learning experience on this um, Please just bear with us as we try to connect with Mr. Emmanuel, who is the facilitator for this training today. Thank you very much. Like I said earlier, we ought to have started this training by now, but we are expecting the facilitator, uh, Mr. Emmanuel, to join us shortly. Please just stay on as we try to connect with him. Thank you very much.
Okay, all right. I think we have Mr. Emmanuel here with us today. Um, let me just welcome everyone again to this edition of uh, Equipa. Equipa is an initiative of Women Radio 91.7 with the mandate to empower women and girls in Nigeria where they can learn skills to be financially independent. And um, today is the day two of the Equipa training. We started yesterday and we were taught um, a number of skills on how to go about the mini importation business and um, the digital marketing aspect and e-commerce. And um, today is another day. We're wrapping up today and we have our facilitator here with us today. My name is Victoria Waifu and um, I, am, I am very honored to have you all here um, on this second day of the training. Please join me um, to welcome Mr. Emmanuel Oloro Shola, uh, the facilitator for this training to kick off from now. We have gone, we are 10 minutes by hand time and we need to um, wrap up everything today. Thank you very much. Mr. Emmanuel, please unmute yourself. Mr. Emmanuel, please unmute yourself. Hello, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I want to be sure you can hear me. If you can hear me, please just, um, I need you to signify or specify so that um, I'll go on my sincere apologies for the, for the, the, the... Mr. Emmanuel, please unmute yourself and take the floor, sir. Okay, but I'm talking already. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so um, my name is Oloron Shalai Emmanuel. Thank you very much, everybody, for your patience. I'm sorry for coming late. I have um, a family emergency that came up. I had to travel down to Kaduna this morning. So I had to just um, rush to settle down to get a space I can um, set up so I can start. Well, I think now we are good to go. So, um, how many of us were here yesterday? If you were part of this training yesterday, can you just um, signify so I know how to do recap for what we had yesterday? Or I should just go on assuming everybody is here. So if you were here yesterday, you can just type in the comment section and um, let me know so we go, we can continue. My sincere apologies again for coming late, it was really no plans. Some things just happen. I had to just treat as urgent. So that's why I'm late, but we are good to go now. Okay, so um, without um, much um, ado, I will just go ahead and start now. Let me reduce that volume. So I'll just go ahead and share my screen now. I believe everybody can hear me. And um, I'm going to share my screen now. Okay, okay, thank you very much, everybody. Great, great, all right. So we are going to start right now. So yesterday we talked about um, what e-commerce is about. We talked about the types of e-commerce. We talked about um, B2B kind of business. Uh, we talked about um, B2C. We talked about consumer to consumer. We talked about the different types of e-commerce businesses that is available. We talked about um, general overview, how to start a successful e-commerce business in Nigeria. We talked about um, the basic things you need to put in place. Like you should not just go ahead selling everything like every other person. You want to be different. You want to start um, with a niche. You want to start um, um, by having a niche or a product in mind. And then when you have a niche, 
you want to do your product, um, you want to do your your research, you want to do, um, um, aside the research, you want to also take your time to be sure that you did some basic um, ideas evaluation. And then from there, you want to um, research your competition. And then from there, we talked about how you should name your business properly. Um, we talked about how you can, generally, how you can get started with e-commerce. In case you were not here yesterday, probably you are going to get a link for the recorded version. So we won't go over what we treated yesterday. So this morning, I'm just going to go straight to starting e-commerce, um, mini importation. Because yesterday, I showed you how you can access the cheapest site in the world where you can get any products from China from. And then the website is 168.com. Yesterday, I showed you how you can start by, um, by accessing the site because the site is in Chinese. I also showed you how you can translate the site to English and how you can access it from anywhere in the world, either on your laptop or on your phone. I also showed you different methods you can search for a product. We talked about three methods. The first method you can use to search for a product is through, um, is through um, organic search. The second one is through image search. And the third one is through um, translation uh, method. So this three was what we went through yesterday. So if you were here yesterday, did you at any point in time try to access the site? Did you, um, did you have any difficulties accessing the site? Did you have any issue when you were accessing the site, maybe translating, or did you try to search for some product? Did you find them? So engage me, let me know. I'm in the comment section. I'm going to be checking your, your comment to see if you tried it and you didn't get anything. But without wasting our time, I already wasted about 16 minutes. So I'm just going to open 168.com and then we are going to get started right now. So, um, like I mentioned, this website is the cheapest in the world and there's nothing you want to buy in this world that is not there. I do say that the only thing you cannot buy on this website is human beings. But aside that, you can buy anything, caps, papers, um, normal fashion, clothing, wristwatch, anything at all you can think of, you can get. So I'm um, opening my website now. I think the, 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 the network is a bit poor, so it's um, taking time to load, but I hope it will come up early enough for us to really get started. Because today we are going to be looking at how you can actually start placing orders, how you are going to um, go about to buy, to look for any product you're looking for, how you can ship the product down to Nigeria and how you can make a lot of money. So the website is open now. Yesterday, I taught you how to translate to English in case you don't know how to translate it to English. I taught you how to do that. So this one is not automatically translated. So you can just um, right click anywhere and select translate to English as you can see here. And then it will change it to English. Voila, now we have our English um, version of the 1688. Now, yesterday I told you that there are difference between Alibaba, AliExpress, and 1688. AliExpress is for the international market voice for retail. You can only buy one or two pieces. But on Alibaba, you can buy um, wholesale products. They have MOQ. MOQ, I said yesterday, is minimum order quantity. So today we are focusing on 1688. And what differentiates 168 from Alibaba is the fact that it's meant for only Chinese locals. That means you have to be in China. You have to be resident in China for you to be able to access the, web, the, the website. But of course, now with um, resources and tools like Google Translate and Google Chrome, you can access the website. And of course, the language won't be a barrier. The only thing that will also be a barrier to you now is um, going to be maybe the payment method because they don't accept dollar and they don't accept any other currency except, um, except um, for their local currency, which is Yuan. I mentioned yesterday that we have, um, if you hear me say Yuan, RMB or Yen, it's the same thing. Nigeria, we spend Naira in, in Nigeria. So in China, they spend Yuan or RMB. So if you are going to be dealing with this website, you are going to be dealing with um, all those terminologies that, that, that are already known. So today, we are just going to go ahead and try and exploit um, explore a lot of um, products that we can start selling now and make a lot of money. Now, how do you do product research? 
Aside the one I shared with you yesterday about thinking, looking at problems from your, your immediate environment, because truth be told, your first customers are people around you. There are people that see you, that already know you. They are, they are easily convinced. They, they can easily trust you because they know you as an individual. So those are the kind of persons that, that you want to, um, that you want to advertise or show your product. These ones are direct factories. They are like um, main companies that deals with product and um, they manufacture them directly. So if you click on find factory here, you are going to see a lot of them. But I don't want us to go into details. I want to focus today on how to actually place order. Yesterday I've shown you how to look for product. Let's look for wristwatch, for example, wristwatch. So you see, I'm using the first method, which is the organic search. You just type the normal thing in English, and then you hit on search. The second method is you have to translate it with Google Translate. I showed you how to do that yesterday. And the third method is for you to use um, what we call image search. That means if you're on Instagram, you're just scrolling through, and you see a product that a lot of persons are selling, uh, maybe a lot of people are buying, and you are interested in such products. What you can just do is just to simply download the picture or save the picture on your phone or your laptop and then you can do image search for it and you can get the product and you start selling but before i go there how do you identify original product because you see wherever there is original there is counterfeit wherever there is original there is fake you know a lot of persons in nigeria they talk about aba made they say oh maybe it's not original or something but you know the the same way we have this less quality products in Nigeria, the same way we have them. In, in fact, on China, even on this website, there are many. So you have to be diligent. Like I mentioned yesterday, it's easy for you to make a lot of money on this website. You can turn a 20,000 investment to like 200,000 on this website, fact. But the same way it's easy for you to turn 20,000 to 200,000 on this website, is the same way it's easy for you to lose that money. You can lose like 100,000 within, within, within a circle of an eye because you didn't do proper checks. So the first thing you want to look out for when you open a product. Now I'm going to look at, um, let me, let's look for a product you want to use for this particular training. Let's see the price. Let me see any nice wristwatch that I think I would like to buy, I like to sell. So there are a lot of them, you can keep scrolling, keep scrolling, but I think I saw one, let me just pick that one. I thought I would see another, but I think I'll just go with this. Now this wristwatch that is loading, we are going to check the price and then see how much we can sell it for in Nigeria. So of course you see it's not translating and because it's still loading, if you check here, you see that the site is still loading. So by the time it's done loading, if it doesn't translate automatically, I'll just click here or I'll right, right click anywhere on my laptop and click convert to English. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to right click, convert to English. And um, it has not, okay. You see the name is Nibosi Korean Fashion Men's Watch, black, gold, steel, bed, blah, 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 waterproof. So you see it has a video. So I can play the sound for you to hear. So what I usually do, like this website now, I can download this video. I'll now put my logo. Remember we talked about logo yesterday. I'll put my logo on the video. I can put a, a music. I can put a Nigerian music, a hot Nigerian music.
Okay, can you hear me now? I think uh, my network messed up. Like I said, I'm in a new place. I'm in Kaduna right now. So I think um, the network is, but can you all hear me right now, please? If you can hear me, just send in the chat. I'll see that you can hear me and I'll continue. signify via chat just let me know you can hear me so i will continue i don't want to. okay you can hear me now okay great go ahead and reload the page because the network messed up Okay, so this is the wristwatch. This wristwatch, as you can see, if you want to convert it to Nigerian Naira, because it's in RMB right now, so 59. And then there's one thing I want you to notice from this page. Once it's done loading, I'm, we are going to be taking it one step at a time. There are some key things I want you to always notice when you want to buy anything from this website or basically any website. So the first thing from this particular one is, what is the MOQ? Remember, I've mentioned before, MOQ means minimum order quantity. So uh, minimum order quantity means the, the lowest quantity the supplier is willing to sell. So for this particular product, so I'm going to translate it to English now. So for this particular product, the MOQ, as you can see from here, you see starting badge. You see they are English because this website is originally in Chinese. So you might not exactly see this one. You can see different English. You can see different English. But what you should just look out for is under the price, you see some specific um, quantities. So you see, if you are buying for this, if you are buying between two pieces and 10 pieces, you are going to be buying it at 59. So in economics, basic economics, the higher the quantity, the lower the price. So that is still what is obtainable here. So if you are buying from two, because you cannot buy one. So this supplier is selling, the MOQ of this supplier is two. That means if you want to buy this particular wristwatch now, you can buy just two. You can buy two. So if you are buying two, between, between two to 10 pieces, you are going to be buying it at 59 RMB. And that 59 RMB, if you convert it to Nigerian Naira, is going to give you 4,400, or let's just approximate it to 4,500 Naira. That is the amount for this one, if you are buying two to 10 pieces. But look at the magic. If you are buying from 11 pieces to like 99 pieces, you're going to be buying it at 52, 52 RMB. So instead of 4,425, so we are going to do 52 times 75. So you see, you're already getting a lot of discounts. You are getting it for 3,900. So this is saving you like extra four to 500 Naira if you are buying more. So like I said, the higher the quantity, the lower the price. Look at, if you are buying like 100 above, you are going to be saving like another 500 Naira. So you can get it like 3,000 Naira. And this wristwatch, like you can see, these are wristwatches that you can sell for nothing less than like 15,000. I'm going to give you an example. When I got married, the wristwatch I was wearing, I wore the gold for my traditional wedding and I wore the, the silver for my white wedding. And then the, the, the wristwatch, I think I bought it, the landing cost in Nigeria is about 7,000 and I was selling for 20,000 Naira. And we were selling, it comes with, it, with a pack. If you see the way they package it, with um, a lot of branding, I'm trying to see if this one has something similar. It comes in a box. So it's a very, very decent wristwatch. And I know this one will be like that as well. So like this particular one, you can sell this wristwatch right, like this. You can sell it for 10,000. If you take it to offices, you can sell it for 10,000 or more. Just look at how beautiful it is. So this is just one. Now, the first thing you should always notice when you open this website is the MOQ, like I mentioned. You want to check what is the MOQ. So can you buy more? So like, for example, 
if all of you in this group, right, like in this training right now, if you let me see how many of us are here. So we have 17 people right now. So let's assume the 17 people on this live training right now. Let's assume you want to buy this particular wristwatch. You guys can come together and contribute money. Since the MOQ for you to get it at 46 is 100. So if you are buying it at 46, let's say 46 times 75. So it's three, nope. Yeah, 3,450. So instead of 3,009, you can get it at 3,004. So what you can do is like 10 of you can come together to say, okay, each person wants to buy 10 pieces and then you are going to get it at that price. And if you bring it to Nigeria, maybe the, land, the landing cost to bring it at around um, maybe 5,000. If you are selling for 5,000 5, per one, you are still going to be making a lot of money. So that means if you are selling, if you are buying 50, if you are buying um, five, 10, and you are selling for five, five, um, 10, 10,000, and the total landing cost for you is like four, 5,000, and you are selling for 10,000, you are going to make it 5,000 per one. And if you are selling 10 pieces and you are selling in, in you are making 5,000 5, profit, that's how much you are going to make. So this is a lot of um, money. So for you to explore the site, the first thing you want to look out for is the MOQ. After the MOQ, the next thing you want to look out for is the rating. This rating is very, very important because how do you know the quality of what you are buying if you are not listening to what the people that have bought it before, the people that have bought it before you, how much are they buying it for? So you want to make sure you check. Look at this rating. It has five-star ratings. So this is a good sign. So these are these tips I'm giving you. The first tip you should look out for to identify original product or to know a link to buy from is the ratings. What is the star rating of the product? So you can see one, two, three, four, five. So this has five stars. It has a pass mark for me. I'm going to buy from this product because of this first reason. So there are like four things you should look out for. The first one is this rating here. The next one, we're still going to come back to this place, availability. Because aside the fact that the product is cheap, you have to make sure that they have the available quant uh, look at, okay, this is good. This gold now is selling for 59, of course. That is the price save for if you are buying just one. And then look at the available pieces, 8,487 pieces for gold. But they have black. You see, I clicked on the black, it has changed to black. You see this black, look at, they have only 8,619 pieces. So you can see them, you can see this is like silver, so the more you scroll down, you will see the different ones available. So you want to first check to make sure it's available in stock before you even say you want to buy it. But this one is not related to the quality. So for you to know the one to buy, the first thing is to look at what is the people, people that are, um, the star, the ratings of the product, that's one. The second thing you want to do is to come down here and look at the company profile. Now, this company that is selling this product, this is the name, South American Watch Industry, Powerful Factory. You see, the company has been existing for five years. So this is a good pass mark. The first thing you want to check is the product rating itself. The product rating has five star. And then the next thing is you want to check the company, how long have they been operating? If the company has been operating for five years, of course, you want to trust them with your money because some of them, you can see some of them are just a year old. I try as much as possible unless I don't find any other supplier selling that product. I don't buy from a supplier selling um, that is just a year or two old in the company, in the, in the, on the website. So please notice this, it's very, very important. You want to make sure you deal with company that is at least, at least two years and above. Then that's the second thing, the year of the, of the factory, how many years the factory has been on the website. Then the next thing you want to look out for is this symbol. I don't know if you can see my screen. This symbol you are seeing here that looks like a bull sign. This is a verification symbol that Alibaba or 168 puts on a, on a company that whenever you see this sign, it means Alibaba is giving you the authentication sign symbol that, okay, you are giving you the go ahead. This company is trusted. So please always look out for this symbol. Mind you, even if, the even if the product doesn't have this symbol, it doesn't mean the product is fake. 
But the more of these tips I'm giving you, the more you find in the particular store, the better for you. Now, there are like five things you should look out for. If a company has, if a particular product has like three of them, I don't have the remaining two, you can just use your discretion to, to know the one you buy from. But make sure that, first of all, the rating of the product is very important. This one, make sure the product has a good rating, one. The second thing is how many years the supplier has been on the website, five years. The third one is this bull sign. This bull sign, that means Alibaba or 168, the company, the website is giving you the verification that they have, they have accessed this store and they are giving you the go ahead. For this store so it's very very important please so the next thing you want to now notice is what are the people that that bought the product what are they saying about the product okay it's not well loaded if the site is completely loading okay you can see so you can see this website they're giving you this supplier they're giving you their certificate they're giving you the verification okay this one comes in a box like this and please make sure you read all the details. Please make sure you read every single information. Don't skip. Anything that's going to require your money should require your time. Don't be in a haste, please. So read a lot about the risk to work because you cannot sell a product if you don't understand how it works perfectly. So your ability to sell the product depends on your ability to understand and know how well the product can work. So please take your time, take your time. So. You can see the details, all these images, you can download this picture. Those are the pictures you are going to use for your ad. What you want to advertise, we are still going to get there. I'm trying to rush because we have a lot of things to cover today. So you see, these are the products you can download and use for, for your ad and then read all the details here for you to make sure you understand everything. Then for us to see what people that bought the product are saying, there's one place. If you see here, you see the details. You see cross border. When you, whenever you see cross border, it means they can ship overseas. That means the main target for this particular store, even though it's meant for only Chinese locals, the main market for this product is for people overseas. That, so whenever you see cross border, it means they can export it to people to places like Euro, Europe, um, America, and, and the like. So you see the unit weight is 0 0.1. That's the weight of the wristwatch. Make sure you check the brand. So the brand name is Nebosi Print Logo Can. Now this print logo can that you, you see here means that if at all you want to go big, you want to go big into, into wristwatch. You know, yesterday we talked about um, your plan, have a logo, have a... So let's assume you want to go into wristwatches only and you want to brand it. I can decide to name this wristwatch. Instead of naming it this Nebosi, I can name it DigiWash. Digi watch. So if I'm naming it Digi watch, that means instead of them to write in the boost inside, they are going to write Digi watch inside. Yes, you can customize your product to carry your name. So you see print logo, you see can. This can means yes. So it depends on the English. Like I mentioned, the site is originally in Chinese. So for you to have it in English, at times you might not have the right English that you are looking for. So just get the basics of it. So when you see can, it means yes. When you see can, it means yes. So they, they can print your logo on it so they can have the, the, their, your own logo and your name on the wristwatch instead of their own Nebosi. So that's what this can means. So display pointer, display type pointer, that means the hand that is tickling. Tick tock, tick tock. So that is pointer. So just make sure you read everything about it. You see for people, mail. And then at times they give you suggested retail price. Let me see if they did that for this particular wristwatch. Okay, this one, they didn't give us suggested retail price. We are going to look for another product. They are going to give you suggested retail price. The price they want you to sell it or the recommended price, they are saying you should. So, but if you see these details, that's why we're having this one. So if you go to evaluation, you see what the people that have bought the product are saying. You see, there's only one evaluation for this particular product and it says, great just that great and then this particular person bought 300 pieces all black all gold and the person bought it 2020 december so this particular person that left this review 
bought this product December 2020, and the person bought 300 pieces. And the person's feedback is great. So you want to make sure that you read some products, you see them, you see what the, um, the users are saying. Some people will tell you um, fake products, some people will tell you very inferior, doesn't look like what is shown in picture. So for you to avoid the scenario of what I ordered versus what I got, you want to make sure you always, always check and check the verification. You want to make sure you take your time to check what other people are saying. So this is the next thing you should always look out for before you go ahead and um, before you go ahead and say you want to buy from anybody. You want to check the evaluation. You want to first check the ratings from here. You want to check, um, okay, the stars of the company also, the medal. You see this one has three. So this should be the minimum. Anything less than three, please avoid them and also the number of years. And then the next thing is the, the next thing is the, um, the symbol here. So make sure you look out for all these things before you go ahead and buy. So if you have checked all these things and you are satisfied, like for me, personally, I'm going to buy from this particular store because like I mentioned, it has five stars and then the company has been existing for five years. It is verified with this symbol and then of course has at least three and then the one person that has bought is giving me um what's it called is giving me five star um, assurance and then there's one thing that you should always look out for this one is not showing here you see the number of transactions the number of sales this particular product has done in the last 30 days most of the time you see it this particular one is not showing so those are the things you should look out for but let's assume you are cool with this one and you want to buy it right now. You should open your notepad. So if you open your notepad, the first thing you want to do is, you want to name it number one, wristwatch. This is how you want to be detailed. And then if you come back to this particular link, if you come up to this place, your, set, your web bar, your bar, where you enter your address, you see this is the link to this particular product. So you are going to, if you, you see, immediately I click on the link, it has highlighted it for blue to blue. So if you right click and just click on copy, or you can do control C, it will copy it. So you come to this, your notepad and do control V. Now, what you have done is you have pasted the link to this particular product under the wristwatch. So the next thing you want to do is, how many pieces do you want? What color do you want? So let's assume I want this particular good or good. If I want five pieces, I'll come here and then let me just, um, so I'll say good. Let me space it a bit. I'll say good five pieces. Then I can say black three pieces. And I can say silver. I can say two pieces. So total, total ten pieces. So what this means is, I want to buy this wristwatch, but I want um, the gold one, I want five pieces, the silver one, I want, um, okay, the silver one, I want how many pieces? Two pieces. So, and the total of this wristwatch I want to buy is 10 pieces. So what this means is, since I'm buying 10, the price I'll buy it is 59 RMB. But if I'm buying more than 10, I'll buy it for less amount. 52, and if I'm buying like 100 pieces, I buy it for 46 RMB. So this is how you are going to list it. So let's assume there's other thing you want to buy. Let's look for something aside wristwatch. Let's look for, let's look for maybe instead of wristwatch. Um, let's just look for,
So sorry guys. So let's say we want to do shoes this time. Let's say we want to do shoes. So we are going to search for shoes. Look at some nice sneakers. Then if you see from this search bar alone, from this search result, if you notice that bull sign I mentioned that you should always look out for, you see some of them are already showing, even look at this one is having, this one is having, this one is having, this one is having, this one is having. So you can see that most of them, most of these products that on the first roll, they are showing me that they have the they have the blue sign. So what we want to do right now is um, let's translate to English. So we see it very well. So look at this one for female. Look at this this one, sixty six RMB. So let me see. Look at this one, sixty RMB. Let me see how much is that. 60 times 75, 4,500. So I'm sure if by the time you want to sell this one in Nigeria, you see the amount you are going to be selling them for. So I'm just going to look for one I think I would like. I just want to show you how to source for different products. Like I mentioned, there's nothing you are looking for that you won't find. Well, let's just save time. Let me just pick one random one so let me pick this one or oh, look at this one 12 rmb translate to english now how many of you noticed something let me explain this one very quickly now you see here it's showing me 12 rmb transaction sixty thousand. now what does transaction mean that means the number of transactions, the number of time people has bought this particular, this particular sneakers. That means in the last, maybe in the last 30 days or so, these particular sneakers have sold 60,000 times. And then it doesn't mean per transaction, it's transaction, it doesn't mean it's per, um, per piece. That means for one transaction, that means one person can buy 20. Just like this wristwatch, that when we check when we check the evaluation, one person bought 300 pieces, but this is just one transaction. I hope you guys understand. So the number of transactions as well matters. So you want to check the product evaluation one, um, the product ratings one, um, the number of years two, the symbol three, the rating four, and then of course the company itself, the meta, it should be the minimum of three, that's five. And then six, the number of times people have bought that product. It is very, very important. So for this particular one, so let me translate it to English. So look at these sneakers. So you see, you can decide to buy this one. But what I wanted to show you here, you see, before we clicked on it, it was showing only 12 RMB, 12.50 RMB. But when we clicked on it, it's showing 15, but the 12 is still there. So what this means is, it's showing you the lowest price before you click on it. That is a marketing strategy for them. It's like a clickbait. They are using it to attract you. Because of course, I clicked it because it's 12, 12 RMB. But from clicking it, I now saw that, it's now 15 RMB. Though it's not like that 12 RMB is a lie, but they are showing you the lowest price if you are buying the highest quantity. But for you to get it at 12, you have to buy at least 10,000 pieces, which is way too much, way too much. But even at 15 RMB, I think it's still a good deal. So let's check the price. 15.50 times 75. 1,600 for this particular sneaker, you see? It's available in different colors. Available in different colors. This is the black. So you see, 1,100. 
Now, this part, okay, and if you are buying from 30 above, it can even be lower, maybe it's around 900 naira. Yeah. So it can be around 900 naira. So, and then look at 5,000 plus double transaction in the last 30 days, plus 60 reviews. Good. You see this one, I was trying to look at the number of transactions, but it was not showing me. You see, it was not showing me, but on this particular wrist, um, this particular sneakers, it's showing me that first, look at the star rating, it's giving me 4.5, not five, but at least 4.5 is still very okay. And then look at 5,000 plus. So that, that means over 5,000 um, transaction has been carried on on this particular sneakers in the last 30 days. And then over 60 people, over 60 people has reviewed it. So let's see what they are saying. You see, very suitable. Thank you for coming. Okay, this one is from the supplier. But they give them five stars and say very suitable. This one said the shoes are received, the logistic is fast, the price is good, and the workmanship is good. There's a little smell. I haven't worn it in the hot weather. I just don't know if it's this, if it's compared to wear. I will review it after I wear it. So what this one is saying is what this particular one is saying is he has gotten the product, the product is okay, and then um please just give me a minute. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry. So, um, so this person has given his own review. I wear it for a day today and I feel comfortable. The shoes are of good quality and cost effective. So you can see the ratings, you can see what people are, okay, I see one bad rating. You see, this person is giving it one star. The, the quality is average. The most important thing is that the code number is wrong. 39 is 10 to 38, which is too small to wear. You see, note this particular complaint, note it. So what this person is saying is, he requested for size 39, but they sent 38. And then the quality is average to him. So, but look at what other people are saying. So, but if, if 60 people reviewed it, and out of the 60, if let's say 50 is saying the product is good, of course we want to believe them. And then the other thing we want to look out for is, now we've seen that it has 4.5, it has done over 5,000 transactions in the, last, in the last, last 30 days, over 60 reviews. And then if you come down here, you see the company has been here for five years. And then it has this bull verification sign. And look at the Ben Medals, one, two, three, four, five. So this is complete yes for me. I will buy it. And for the price, of course, if you are buying something this cheap, you are not going to expect one very mad quality, of course. Let's be reasonable. So we also have to note these things. So if you now come down, you also want to check what is the details of the product or that people saying, okay, after this review, I want to go back to details. So you can see the weight is 0 0.55 kg. It's always important for you to note the weight because you are going to get to where we are going to calculate the weight. Then look at other things. Um, the packaging, just read a lot about, about um, then look at the delivery time, four to seven days. So you know it will arrive to your Chinese warehouse within this period. And then look at where they are selling it. They are selling it on eBay, they are selling it on Amazon, Wish, AliExpress, Independent, Lazada, and all these um, European websites. So this is showing you that they are selling. And then look at the color. Pick the right color, please. Pick the right color. Always note all these things, always note, and make sure you read. Don't just look at the pictures. Pictures can be deceptive. Read the size, read the, the, right, um, the right size, the right materials they use, so you can understand better, and you won't go and be expecting something, because there was a situation of one of my customers. She saw a particular pose, a lady's pose, and it was very beautiful, but of course, it was very bold, it was very big in pictures. And then she placed order for it. And when the product arrived, it was very small. It can only contain just one phone. And she was like, I've been scammed. I have to check this, the, the product details. And I saw that the supplier actually gave the right details. Like, look at this one, the heel is just 1.2 centimeters. So they're going to give you all the information about the product. 
But because at times, Nigerians, we only focus on the picture, what we see, than reading the details in total. We fail to see a lot of other information about it. So please always read about the product. Don't just look at pictures, read what the supplier is saying about it. So you've gotten how to check um, for quality. And then if you want to buy this particular one, you can just click on this particular place where you enter the, the website. If you click on it once, it will highlight. You click on copy and then come back here again. You see what we did here? So let's say number two. You want to say sneakers. And then you want to paste the link. And then you want to choose the colors you want. So for this one, since this one has more variation, you are going to do something different. So you are going to see color. You are going to see black. You are going to see for this color black, you want size. Forty five. And then you want to see you want three pieces. Then you come back here and uh, say color. You can say black size 42 pieces. So this is how you are going to give specific information of the ones you want or the ones you need. And then you are going to do that for a lot of other products you want to buy. Let's assume you are buying more than one. Now, there's something I want to teach you again. If you are into fashion, for example, if you are into, if you are into, let's assume, okay, you are seeing other products, other things. Let's assume your own store is, is focusing on male fashion. You want to be selling only male sneakers. Now, what you can do, if you are selling only male sneakers, what you can do for you to be able to save money is, if you have checked this particular company, Okay, this one is even for women, women shoe. Now, if you have checked this company, you've, you've seen that they've met all the requirements you want for you to buy good product, especially because they are five years old, they have this boost sign, they have five, um, five medals, and the review so far is good. So you can give you, this can give you insight that this particular company, I can buy more from them. Uh, I'm trying to see the chat. Please mute your device so we can benefit from this training. Thank you. Okay, so you can hear me. Okay, good. So you can see that this company, they are in, they are manufacturing, they are, look at the name, Shuanyang Source Manufacturers. So they are selling other products aside this particular one. So if your store, if you want to deal with, if your own business is focusing only on male sneakers, it is recommended and highly advisable that you just stick to this company. How? You are going to click on the name. You see that this is, this is the symbol. This is the symbol that makes us know that this company can be trusted. And then it has five years. It has five gold medals. So if you click on the name of the company itself, you are going to see something now, which I will recommend that you do because it's going to benefit you at the long run. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to do this whenever you face something like this. Okay, I'm not using my particular account. Okay, let me use this. Let me copy this. I'm trying to show you something. This was where we left yesterday. This was the page we were on yesterday, bro. I want to just check something.
Okay, so what we have done here is I clicked on the name of the supplier. I clicked on the name of the supplier and it has, it's showing me now the company profile. It's showing me the main store of the company. My apologies, like I mentioned, I had to make an unplanned travel to, to Kaduna. I had to book a train this morning as early as 5 a.m. to get to Kaduna. So I'm in Kaduna now and that is why I'm not in my studio and I cannot um, get everything ready, but I believe it's still, you can still hear me loud and clear and we are still, so you can use the normal translate to English. And then when you do translate to English, it will bring you to the stock, um, to the company's main website, and then you can see all that product they are selling. This was the one we clicked. I think this one, let me check. Okay, this was the product that, that we saw. So let me confirm it here. So you see they have other, other sneakers they are selling different types. Okay, like this particular one, I like it. Let me open it and see. So um, my network is poor. That's why it has not translated to English. Even though it, all these ones will be translated to English. So uh, in case it's not translating, in case you are doing it by yourself and you're not translating, please just understand and just refresh. There is nothing to be worried about, just refresh. and know that network contributes to this thing. So, and remember the traffic on this website is much. I mentioned to you yesterday that in a month we will have an average of 10 million people visiting this website. So it's not a um, joke. Okay, you see this one, I think this one has translated. 2020 summer new main casual shoe, main trendy, blah, blah, blah. Okay, look at it. I think I like this. So this is a very decent sneakers. And for 15 RMB, for me, it's still, trust me, this is a steal for, for this price, this is steal. So it's more like you are stealing it because this price is, look at, very beautiful, decent sneakers. For 15 RMB, let's see how much that is. So you see, it's just 1,000 Naira. So this sneaker is what you can bring to Nigeria and you can sell for as much as 8,000, 10,000, depending on, on your market and how you decide to go about it. But this is just to show you, look at it. So what we have done here is, if you want to focus on only selling only sneakers, instead of buying from this supplier and looking for another supplier to buy from, it is advisable to just buy all the things you want to buy from this particular supplier since it's the same industry. So you can still buy this one, buy this one, buy this one, buy this one. So the advantage of buying this one, you are going to get it when we get to shipping, how to ship your product and understanding the cost. You are going to get that when you get to that point, but it's very, very advisable for you to always buy from the same store if they are selling the same thing. Now, this is sneakers. Let's assume you don't want sneakers and you need to buy, um, Maybe you don't want sneakers. Okay, yesterday we searched for baby items. Let's assume we want men's shoe, men's corporate shoe. You can do, you can do men's corporate shoes. Let's see. So this is how you are going to search and explore, take your time. Remember what I taught you yesterday, follow all the e-commerce processes I, I taught you. So it makes it easy for you to really um, know what you are looking for specifically, because you see, this is the downside. If you do not have specific, oh, if you don't have specific thing you are looking for, if you come to this site, your chances of getting confused is very, very high because you're going to see a lot of cheap, cheap things, a lot of nice things you can buy. So it's always advisable for you to come unless you are still doing, you can do your product research here as well. And the way you can do product research if you're on this website is by just visiting the website. Let me just show you. If at times, at times, if you don't have a particular product in mind and you just want to explore, that is welcome. You can just open the website you can just be scrolling, be looking at some products. 
And when you see anyone, you open it with this one work in Nigeria. If it will work in Nigeria, how much will it go for all those things? Like, okay, let me show you this product. Now we are going gradually into the winning season. You see smart e-commerce people, they think 10 steps ahead. They don't work, they are not reactive, they are proactive. Now, some persons, right now, you know, we are still in the dry season, there's heat, everybody's complaining. Well, anything from April ending to May, we are going to go into rainy season fully and rains will be here. Now, for you to be a successful person, if you want to make money, you have to start thinking of what will people start buying from, from May? What will people start buying from May? From like, um, like um, what's it called? Um, like umbrella, what are the things people will need for rainy season? That's just the summary of it. And then this is one example of it. Let me play this video for you to see, thank you. Let me play this video for you to see. This one is a shoe cover. I don't know why the video is not playing, but it's a shoe cover. So what this means is, after wearing your shoe, if you are going to go to the office and there's going to be um, a lot of rain that will mess up with your shoes, you don't have to worry. When you wear your shoe, you just wear this one on top of it, just like the way you wear your clothes and you wear them coats. So this is how this product works. And look at the price. Just starting RMB. How much is starting RMB? Starting RMB times fifty times fifty times seventy seventy five nine hundred naira. So look at this product nine hundred naira. By the time you add the shipping fee, maybe you to come to Nigeria for maybe one thousand two hundred, and then this thing you can sell it for in Nigeria for three thousand four thousand. People will buy it. People that are going to the office. A lot of people where they stay. Forget the fact that everybody package when they get to the office. The road to their house is really messed up when they are going in, in the when the rain starts. So this is a very good product. Now look at this silicon waterproof shoe cover in raining weather. Now we are not in raining season yet. So it's only advisable and wise of you to start buying this thing ahead of time and keep it so that when the rain starts falling, you have something to sell. So this is a, a good product for you to put in mind right now to sell. And look at it has um five star. Remember the things I said you should look out for. Now it has four star for the company, but it's, it doesn't have that seal we are you looking for that I say you should look for. But that doesn't mean you can't buy from it. It's two years on the website. And then I'm trying to play the video, but I don't know why the video is not playing, but I wanted you to see how it works. Because most of the time is the video that helps you to appreciate the product more. So look at it. They have different types. They have for babies. You see, when you wear it, it protects. I wish you can see the video. I saw one yesterday. The video was playing well and it was... Okay, I think this one. I saw one. Okay, let's see if this one... So this is just to show you the different things you can sell and make a lot of money. This is just an example of one. So I was trying to show you that when, the way you think, like Easter period now, Easter is coming. Um, people are we're in the Lenten period already. And I think by month end or next month, we are going to have celebrate. Okay, look at, this is the video. Now this one is not even showing, okay, beautiful. You see how it, um, even when it's changed, it's showing you how thick it is. That's why he pour water inside and he's drinking. <laughs> Crazy guy. I'm sure you can all see the video I'm showing. Look at potopoto or dust. You see, it's washing it. So you can easily wash it. After you get to the office, just clean this water. And you see? So it's anti-slippery. It will not sleep so that you don't fall down. So you see, even if you are working on, you see? So this is a very good product. And for the price, 900 Naira. So people buy this thing, the answer is yes. You see, when you get to your office, you can put it in the nylon again, and you are good to go. So you can download this particular video and use it and show and, and use it to show your customers. So, and it's available in different, these things. So just imagine for a second, if you want to sell this particular one, and you are buying, and this one is just MOQ of two, so you can even buy two. 
So, like I mentioned, people that want to sell for Easter, the things people want to sell for Easter right now, they're already buying them now. You don't, you don't prepare in war, you prepare for war. That's the right thing. People say, why is this thing opening my video? I don't want you guys seeing my face. <laughs> I need to open my camera. Yeah, rain coats, rain boots. So now people are going to start Ramadan fasting very soon. What are the things people will be needing during Ramadan? This is how you think ahead. So this is the period you start planning. What can I buy? What can I sell to people during Ramadan? What will people buy during Ramadan? What do people need during Ramadan? Or after Ramadan, after they have done fasting, when they want to do the main Ramadan festival or celebration, what are the things people are going to be needing? Look, selling this thing, selling petty products like this, I've sold products in millions. In the last five years that I've been doing this, this business, I've trained over 10,000 people, like I mentioned to you yesterday. We've done some of my students are doing millions in sales. So this is a real life business that changed lives. It changed mine and it can change yours as well. So I'm just using this as an example. So what I mean is if you just open the website, if you don't have a particular product you are looking for, you can explore. By explore, I mean you can just be searching, going through. If you see anyone, you can click it and start asking yourself, will people buy this in Nigeria? That's the first thing. Will people buy? Is someone selling this thing already in Nigeria? If they're already selling, how much are they selling? Can I bring in something different that will, that will sell better? Or if I bring in my own, what, what formula, what strategy do I want to sell with? So there are a lot of things. This particular one now is a is a refrigerator deodorizer. So a lot of us, if you open your fridge, maybe because we put fruits, garbage, and a lot of vegetables, you, so, you hear some, some dirty smell or some foul odor from the fridge. This thing, if you just put it inside the fridge, it takes away the odor. So you can choose that this is what I want to be selling. You see memory card, you can sell even wrist watches, even phones, laptops, we we'll still get there. You see everything, look at baby carrier. This baby carrier, if you go and check it on, on um, let me even open this particular one, then open Jumia. Let's see how much he's selling on our Nigerian Jumia so that you appreciate these things more. So all the products you are seeing on Jumia and all those things, they are from 168, they are from China. But if you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> so, okay, this one is selling for 52 RMB. And then let's see, the name is baby carrier. So let's search. Baby carrier. Let's search on Jumia and see how much they're selling it from. For I hope we see the exact one. Uh, it's something like this, but not this exactly. So let's just search. So look at nine thousand fifty-two. 35. So for 52 and 75, 3,900. So now, including the landing cost and everything, it will not be more than, you see, and this one is actually different. You see, it has some other stuff. So now, if you are buying it for maybe the landing cost, if it's 39, maybe the landing cost with shipping and everything, maybe it will cost you 4,000, maybe 4, 5, or 5,000. Let's assume you are buying five thousand. You are buying this for five thousand. And look at it's selling for nine thousand. So that means for one, you are making four thousand profit. So a four thousand profit on one item is not bad. Trust me. Like I told you yesterday, if you are doing a business and even if your profit profit is just one thousand naira, your target should be to sell to one thousand people. If you are making one thousand profit and you sell to one thousand people, you have made your first one million naira. It's that easy to make one million naira. I told you yesterday. The first product I sold and I was making my first one million as far back as like five years ago was pants, female panties, underwear. And this was doing magic. So, The secret of sales is the volume, the number, the quantity you are able to do, the turnover. So 
make sure Okay, can you um, can you all hear me now? Sorry if you can hear me. Yes, we my can. internet. We can hear you. Okay, you can hear me. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And then maybe be speak or something. So, I'm going to share this my screen. This screen is not much sharing, sir. This yeah, screen I'll is not so much sharing. Yeah, I'll share my screen. Don't worry, I'll share my screen. My internet. So I'm using my phone's internet. Like I mentioned, I traveled, so I'm not. I'm using my phone's internet. I'm not with my Wi-Fi, so I'm just trying to just meet up because this has already started. We can't stop. So look at this particular um, shoe. I sold it um, in twenty. The twenty seventeen. Now this particular shoe, this exact one, very good quality product. Very good quality, this particular sneakers. It can go on, the, the beauty of this particular shoe is, it can go on jeans, it can go on corporate, you can wear suits. You can wear suit and wear this one. You can wear jeans, you can wear, you can wear anything. And just look at it. I think I was selling this thing for 14K then, 14K. And look at the price. And as out of then, it's because of the exchange rate. Remember dollar is messed up now, dollar is now, because then, I think RMB was 57 Naira. So out of them, 57 times, say 47. Out of them, it's just 2,000 Naira. And dollar exchange rate then was 360, unlike now that is 480. So, but let's use the current exchange rate for this one. So 47 times 75, because one RMB to Naira now is 75, to, within 75 to 78, depends. So now it's 3,005, but even at 3,500 Naira, this shoe, look at it. This set is wearing it on a pant trouser. You can wear it on jeans, you can wear it on chinos. Very, very nice shoe. I bought this particular one. I remember I gave it to one of my uncles as a gift then, and he so much loved it. He was wearing it to the office all the time. So look at, even if you want to start selling this particular one now, just look at the profit. Yeah, look at. And then look at. Um, 45 PS sold. You see, you have seen, you see this one, about 1,000 um, PS sold. That's in the last 30 days. When you see it sold like that, it's in the last 30 days. Look at how they, how they make it. So you can download these videos, uh, use it for your ads, look at different other things that the company is selling. This particular supplier is selling. Remember I told you that if, you're, if, you, are, if you are looking for a particular niche and the things you are selling, the supplier has almost everything. It's better to just buy everything from one particular seller. So you don't go looking for different, different suppliers. So it's easier. It's easier. So this is, um, that, so let's assume you want to buy this particular one now. All you'd have to do is to copy this link. But this particular one now, I won't buy this one. Why? First, I want to check. It has, okay, it has five stars, one, two, three, four, five. It has five stars. And then it's, it has sold over 10 in the last 30 days, three reviews. Let me test see what the reviews are. Let me see what the people are saying. Can, well. So remember I told you, don't, don't bother about the English. If they didn't write the exact thing you are looking for, just use your own common sense to know what they are talking about. Well means okay, because they're giving you five star. Can. It means yes, because, you know, we are using translator. So the translation might not be accurate at times. So that is why, just don't, but the most important thing is you want to know. And then look at the trading method for this particular company is low, so I won't buy. It's two, and they are not even verified. Though it's here for four years, but I won't still buy from this person. Does it mean if I want to still buy this particular um, shoe, I cannot buy it? No, I can buy it. Let's do image search. I taught you yesterday. And for the sake of people that were not here yesterday, this will benefit you. So I'm going to download the picture and I'm going to do image search for you to see. 
how to download this picture so we can use it to search so we can look for other people that are selling the same shoes and we are going to see it for different price i taught you how to do this yesterday so let me see okay I'm going to see the magic of how the image search works. Very, very nice. There's something I did. There's one product we sold sometimes. Okay. There's one product I sold that made me about 20, 20 something million naira, sometimes in 2018. I'm going to show you facts and figures, not like somebody's just here telling you what is not obtainable facts and figures. So I've downloaded the picture. So I'm just going to come here. Instead of typing shoe cover, you click on this camera icon and then it will open your, your, so this is the picture I downloaded. So I'll just select it and open. So once you do that, depending on your network strength, it will load immediately. So this one has started loading now. You see, I didn't click anything. I just selected the picture and it will load it will go and look for all the suppliers that are selling that same shoe for you. So it works like magic. It will look for all the suppliers that are selling the same thing for you. So it's just going to take its time to scan now. So my network is a bit slow. That's why it's taking time to load like this, even though it is not supposed to take time. But of course, you already know. Thank you. we are spending here we are make we are going to make sure it's worth it so you can start oh the internet is poor again so you can start placing order like now now the reason we are we've seen the issue we like it but i don't want to buy from this seller i don't want to buy from this seller because i don't trust it that is why we are looking for other sellers that is why we decide to do image search so let's just wait for the result. But while we are waiting for that, there are some other tips I want to give you on this website that is very, very important before I move to how to now place order. Let me see. So let me just go back to my services. What? The ring code. No, it doesn't come in sizes. Um, so someone here just asked me if the ring code comes in sizes. So the ring code has a universal size. Um, the um, boot shoe cover. There are a lot of products. If you just spend your time. Okay, this is another magic product. This particular soap, I'm using it to bait up till now, till this moment I'm talking to you right now. This particular soap. It's handmade, handmade bamboo soap. And I've not seen any soap since I've been, I've been born till today. I've not seen any soap that washes the body clean as much as this particular soap. Very handy and it's just two RMB. So look at it, 2.5 RMB. That's around uh, 100 something. And some of my students are selling it in packs. They sell it in packs of four for two, 2,000. That's how crazy this, pro this business is. If you know how to do it very well. Now, 
2.6 times 75. 195 naira per one. Now let's just say 200. Now they they are now selling four pieces. They they they, they will now buy four times four. You see, 780 for four. They will now pack it as a, as one pack. They are now selling for two two thousand, and it's selling like and they have different um they have different what's it called different um um flavors. So I don't know the right English now. They have lavender because it's the lavender one I'm, I'm baiting with. Very, very nice. This particular one, I can recommend it. As a matter of fact, for ladies, I won't want to say this because I don't want to make claims. So I'll allow you guys to explore it yourself. So you can see it, 2.6 RMB. You can buy minimum of three. So you can start selling this one. Look, rose essential oil soap, aloe vera, bulberry oil, you see bamboo, lavender, jasmine, goat mix. If you bait with this soap, trust me, your skin is going to be very, very smooth. <laughs> and I'm not even kidding because I've I've bought this thing. I bought it. My other brother, when I brought it, say you, Emmanuel, you are all this your chinko product that you always buy. You are all this your chinko product. I said, okay, use this one and bait. He came back and said, that was soap, don't finish. I said, soap. I said this is not okay. He said, eh, I, I just want, I just like it because it foams well and it washes the body clean. And I'm not kidding you. This soap is, another, and just look at the price, 2.6, you don't need anything special. So if you want to buy maybe 50 of this thing, maybe 50 of this particular one, how much will it cost you? So let's even assume you are, in, you are into lady care and all that. Mind you, I'm just using these things mm -hmm. as an example. If you're a guy and you don't have flair for this one, it's not compulsory to sell this one. Look for things in men. I've, I've, I've used wristwatch as an example. So look for other things. Don't just say because the manual said this one is selling, you want to go and sell it too. Make sure you are selling what you are able to sell, what you think you have the capacity to sell. Do you understand, please? This is very, very important. Don't say Emmanuel said he sold this one or Emmanuel said this one is good and you just jump on it. Make sure you have the capacity to sell it. If you have a lot of ladies on your, on, your, on, your, on your contact list and you think you can recommend it, this new soap is there, if you buy it, and this is how it comes. In, in, it comes in its own pack. So it's very decent. You don't have to worry about the packaging or the branding. So look at, they have different um, specification. You see, if it's the aloe vera you want, but this is the one I've been baiting and I like. This lavender, lavender on, like some of my sisters, they prefer the goat meat own. So depending on what works for you, if you're already used to all these things, you ladies know how it works, but just look at the price. So let's assume you even want to buy, you want to buy, okay, for something that is selling for 195, or let's just say 200. So let's assume you want to buy 50 pieces. 9,000. So you can start this business with, so for the, com for the cost of the product, you need just 10,000. Then for the shipping, maybe you're going to That cost of shipping, maybe another 5,000. So the landing cost for this one will, for you will be 15,000. So if you are spending 15,000 to import 50 pieces of this soap, and you are selling it, and you even want to say, I want to be selling for 5,500 Naira. Let's even say you want to sell for 5,500. 5, so if you are selling for 500 Naira per one, times 50, that's 25,000. If you deduct your cost of 15,000 from it, just say you are using the as strong, you still make 10,000 profit. And this is just the strong. It's not possible for you to sell for 5,500. Like I mentioned, my students, they are selling in packs of four. They don't sell one as a unit. They'll pack it as, and they're selling for two, 2,000. So for that one, if you're selling for two, 2,000, and that four is costing them seven, seven on the, let's just say 800. So that means on four, if they're selling for 2,000, they're making on one. So this thing is a lot of profit, a lot of money for anybody, for anybody. This thing is irrespective of your qualification. Like I mentioned to you, I studied pre and applied chemistry in the university, and this is what I do full-time job. This is what I used to register my company. My company is registered in Nigeria, in China, in Ghana. So if I can do it from nobody, trust me, there's nothing stopping any of you from doing it as well. 
So how do you get started? I know some of you are going to say, Manuel, you have been talking too much. How can I get started? I'm going to tell you how you can get started. But before that, just give me a minute. I need to catch my breath and take water. Okay. So how do you get started? The same thing, if you want to sell this soap, you are going to name it like I showed you the way we've been doing number three. You say handmade soap. Now, let me brush the bubbles. Do you know this, this, this soap? Do you know that you can customize it? The fact that it's handmade, look at, they write their own name inside. Let me see if I can. Okay, look at it. Natural handmade oil soap. Now look at the name Bao Kwa, Bao Aqua. Now, do you know that you can decide to say, I don't want to start from the beginning. I don't want to start small. I want to go all out for this business. You know, you can customize it. If your name, do you remember my company name is Digi View Nigeria Limited? So I can say Digi Soup. <laughs> This is just an example, be creative with your names, make sure you are very creative. So imagine I say, I want to name this soap, Digi Soap, or Digi, in fact, Digi doesn't have to appear there. I want to name it um, something essentials, maybe something, just name it anything that, that suits you. You know, you can customize it and it will carry your own brand like this. They are going to do the kissing for you. It's going to carry your name, your logo, everything. They'll do it all from China, everything. It's going to cost you more because the, the package and what will make it cost you more is the packing because they are going to do custom case for you. So maybe they are going to charge you maybe extra, maybe extra 100 Naira or 200 Naira. But depending on your strategy, you can still do it because that is, is one time payment for that branding. Every other thing, the price will go back to the normal amount. And if you are branding it, of course, you are going to put your own um, one or two, what's it called, um, packaging and marketing strategy. So you can even sell for more quality. How many of you know that um, there's this particular guy that sells perfume in Nigeria, Sapphire? How many of you know that Sapphire <laughs> there is just more of the packaging they are doing? It's more of rebranding they are doing. I'm, I can still teach you that one. Perfume oils, I have the suppliers in Dubai. <laughs> I have their suppliers. I told you I spent three months in Dubai last year during my honeymoon with my wife. So when I was in Dubai, I went to different factories. They are making perfume oils. You can make it in your own name, your own bottles, and you'll be selling. And that's another big industry right now, industry right now that a lot of people, they'll buy perfume oils, they package it. They are selling in small, small bottles. Some are selling for 2000 And that one they're selling for 2000 they are getting it for as cheap as 300 Naira, 500 Naira. So e-commerce, like I mentioned yesterday, till the end of time, buying and selling will not stop. Some people will say they are too big, I cannot sell. Uh, what, what is there? Anyways, let me just continue. I'm beating time. So if you want to sell this particular one, just copy the link. You come here and copy the link. And then come here and save it. Drop the link, Control V. And then you want to now specify which of these fragrances you want. Do you want rose, essential, aloe vera, bulberry, honey? So you can say, I want lavender. That lavender is my favorite because it's very, very nice. That's what I beat with up till this morning before I left Abuja. And I have to catch the next available train back to Abuja this afternoon. So lavender, um, I can say 10 pieces. I can say aloe vera. I can say I want five pieces. That's how you are going to specify. So once you have listed all these things, you are now going to send it to an agent. Now that brings me to how to place order. I wanted to do a slide for this, but I have a lot of, like I mentioned, I have an emergency that just require me to just travel. So I have a lot of things that have been disturbing. But I was supposed to come up with a slide for you that shows you how it works, but don't worry um, what I'm going to do for you. For those of you that are in this training right now, I can give you a link that will allow you to join for you in case you want to ask me questions later on. You can join a particular Telegram group that even if I'm not there, my staff will be there to reply to your messages. So I'll give you that group so that it will help you because this thing is actually deeper than what I can just 
brush through right now. But the most important thing for this training is for you to have the foundation and then you can build on it by yourself after this. So once you have listed everything, remember yesterday when I was telling you about this website, I said the target is for, the reason why things are this cheap on this website because they are selling to only people living in China. And you, you are in Nigeria. So how do you break that code? There are people that live in China that works as agents. We call them procurement agents. What they do for you is they'll help you buy the product and ship it to Nigeria. Mr. Manuel, are we going to get the slides after this training? Um, I don't know yet. I've not, um, I've not, yeah, I think you should, but let's just focus on now. The slides can come later. So this procurement agent, what they do for you is they'll be in China, they are going to buy this thing for you. They are going to buy it for you. They are going to package it for you and help you send it to Nigeria because you cannot buy from this website directly by yourself. If you want to buy um, these things directly, you have to buy it either on AliExpress. And like I showed you yesterday, if you are buying something on AliExpress and you are buying on this website, the price difference is as high as 20,000 which I showed you yesterday during using this shoe as an example. I showed you something yesterday. I can't, I can't see the particular page, but I remember I showed you yesterday, but let's not go back on that. Let's just move on because of our time. But that yesterday I showed you the difference. So if you want to, if you want to buy it, you cannot do it yourself because first of all, you are not in China. And then for you to be able to get their Chinese RMB, it's not like dollar. If you want to buy dollar, you can easily go to any Aboki or all these um, blue the change and they'll change dollar for you and maybe you can use it to pay dollar. But this one, they don't spend dollar, they spend RMB. Like I mentioned, RMB their own, um, is their own currency in China. So that means for you to be able to buy this thing, you need a Chinese agent that will help you buy. I believe you, are, you can work towards giving us this slide so we can over it at our convenience. Okay, we'll look at it. So this Chinese currency is what you will be needing to buy this product. That is why you see we have been using this currency to convert because if you want to buy on AliExpress, you are going to be using dollar and dollar exchange rate right now is 480. So even from the exchange rate alone, you see that the price is already high. But if you are buying from this Chinese website, it's very, very, very low. My souvenirs during my wedding, I made them in China all the souvenirs I, I shared during my wedding. Very nice souvenirs and some of them didn't cost more than 200 naira per one. And these are things that if you want to do it in Nigeria, they're going to cost you like 800, 1K. So this is a very, very, I said we are going to cover how to build a career in e-commerce. Oh God, we have a lot of things to cover, but let's just go on and see how we can order. So if you want to place order, I'm gonna show you my company's website. We give you Nigeria Limited. So um, we have a lot of companies that help you to procure and ship from China. You see, there are some ways some people find a way to buy goods directly from this website. I will not recommend you do that. And I'm going to tell you why. You see some people, you see Nigerians, we like to, we like to cut corners. We like to say, um, okay, how do we trust the Chinese people to buy for us? Don't worry, that's where we are right now. You see, this is my company's website, DigiView Nigeria Limited. I own this company. This is my company to the glory of God. So you can see it. These are head office in Lagos, 29. If you're in Lagos, you can go to this office. You meet my staff right now. 29, International Airport Road. It's beside Conga office by seven and eight bus stop. This is our head office. You can send email. This is my customer service number. You can call my staff anytime. And then this is what my company does. So to take away the fear from people that will say, or if you can even chat them on our website, if you go on our website, you can chat them directly from this website. Because some people will say, how do we trust them? Look, look at me in the middle here. These are some of my staff. So you can see, I showed you some of this picture yesterday. So you see, we train people as well. These are some of the things we do. So what I'm trying to say in essence is, what my company does is we help people procure and ship goods from China to Nigeria. Now, it's not only my company that does this thing. So don't say because it's the manual that is teaching you, you must use my company. No. We have um, other companies that does procurement and logistics. We have NBC, Nigeria, and Log NBC Logistics. We have um, Sky. We have a lot of different companies that does this thing. So you can do your own research. 
My own is to come here and teach, teach you people this business. So how you now go about doing it, make, maximizing profit is 100% your own decision. So I'm not going to say, because I'm teaching you, you must use my company. Nope, but I'm just going to teach you. So you can do your, you can Google procurement and logistics company in Nigeria. You see a lot of them, but this is my company. So I'm, for the sake of this training, I'm going to be teaching you using my company. Of course, I think it's only wise to do that. So this is my company. What we do is procurement and logistics. So what, it, what happens is we have, I don't know why my Chinese people are not on this website. I don't know why the pictures of my Chinese staff, because we have a picture that has all my Chinese staff in it. So I'm trying to see why, I'll talk to my web developer on why he's not here. So, but what we do is procurement. Look at our services, we do procurement and shipping, social media, these are other things my company does. We help payments. In case you have a company in China that you want to buy with um, industrial machines, we have some people that they want to buy industrial machines we help them pay the company and all that. So um, we help people do all that. So procurement and shipping is what we are going to be focusing on. So if you want to now put, um, okay, we have another website that is dedicated to DG Bill 1688. So this is the other website that we have for main procurement. I'll still talk about this one later. But the most important thing is for you to know how this business works because it helps you a lot. I want to show you. Okay, these are my Chinese staff. This is my customer service in Nigeria. So these are some of my staff. And why is all of them showing Sharon, Sharon, Sharon? So what we do is if you chat any of them, I'm going to give you their phone number. It's supposed to take you to their WhatsApp directly. So I'm going to give you their direct WhatsApp number. So what you will do, if you have taken your time to explore 168, you've selected, you've copied all the products you want to sell or you want to buy, I mean. So you're going to copy it like this. And you're going to send it to them on WhatsApp. You are going to send it to them on WhatsApp. So when you send it to them on WhatsApp, they will now send you an invoice. They'll send you what we call an invoice. That invoice, let me see, it should, I think there should be on that resource session. Oh, this is another product I'll show you. I'll show you this product doing magic. But before then, I want to show you some things. I'm looking for something that will help you understand better. Now, this product, look, anti-electromagnetic quantum shield. You see, we are selling for 3,000. If you know how much this thing is selling on 168, it's around 12, some six RMB. And look at how much we are selling. I sold this thing during the pandemic last year. I sold this thing and I was selling for, I think, 225 later on because I was doing wholesale. You have to see this product. I made over 400K from it. Because you just remove one and put it at the back of your phone, just like this. That's all. You just put it at the back of your phone and that's all. If you put it at the back of your phone, it protects your phone from electromagnetic waves, radiations that come from your phone and all that. It also increases the battery life of your phone, a lot of things. I use this one. During that last year, when COVID-19 started, a lot of people were talking different conspiracy, conspiracy theories. Some people said um, um, 5G network is what caused coronavirus and then Pastor Chris Oyak Lom announced the least one video. So that conspiracy, everybody was talking about 5G. Immediately I saw it trending. I have this product, I just started marketing it. I said, whether you like it or not, 5G is here to stay, which is the truth. That was the line I used to do the advertisement. Then I said, whether you like it or not, 5G is here to stay because 5G, we, we started from 2G, 3G, 4G. Now 5G will still come. So whether it's um, harmful or not, 
All you have to do is to get this thing and put it at the back of your phone to protect yourself and your family. Boom, everybody. Because there was already fear of coronavirus, people saying 5G is making people to fall down and die. So what I did is I just capitalized on that particular trending topic and I just use this to maximize sales. It works 101 times. So you can Google this product. You can Google this product on 168. So um, you can Google the product, like I mentioned, and um, download, okay, let's even look at it. Let me even see if I'll get it directly. But you already know how to do a mix search. So you can just download this picture and then just do a mix search by yourself. And um, okay, this is make search we're trying to do since it's not loading. Up. So you can just do it. So this business is a lot of opportunities to make money. So what I'm trying to say in essence is they are trusted. At least if you do not trust um, any other company, I see someone drop a message that they're a procurement agent. Like I mentioned, there are a lot of procurement agents. So you can make any decision at your own discretion. But why should you trust my own company? Why should you? trust they give you to procure for you because we've been doing it, we stand over time, and then you have my personal, I mean, I'm visible on social media, the fact that I own it. So if you have a problem, aside the fact that if you have a problem, there are a lot of numbers you can call, we have people that are available to answer your service anytime, you can come to our physical office, there's nothing to hide. So aside the fact that we have earned our trust over the years, if you go on Google, check our ratings, Aside the fact that we've stand all these tests, I won't still say you should just take my word for it. Do your own research and follow any company that you trust. But for DigiView, what we do is, my agent in China will help you buy the product and they will ship it to Nigeria for you. Let me show you something very quickly. Um, Instagram, um, DigiView. One, six, eight, eight. So I want to show you something real quick. So you see my manager in China. So I want to show you this real quick. So this is my company page. This is DigiView's page on social media. You see we have 4,000 followers. You can Google it, like I mentioned. DigiV is a well-registered company with CAC. You can go to, you can go to our, our office in Lagos. You are going to see everything, ask questions. So there's no hide and seek. So what you are going to do is we help you buy products. Okay, this is my manager in China. You can watch this video at your own distance. So the reason why I'm just showing you this is so you can understand, you see, is not a page that, that is not run by scammers because we have scammers everywhere. So, but this is a trusted brand, legit brand, and I own it. So if it's easy for you to find me, you know that if there's any problem, even if let's assume my staff are messing up, they didn't reply on time or they didn't give you solution to your problem, you can reach out to me. My own social media is also there. I've not been active on social media for, for a couple of time because of some personal reasons. But this is it. I'm going to show you my account. So I'm just showing you this to just establish a fact, a fact because someone talked about trust, that how do you trust the Chinese agent? So I'm telling you that you don't need to trust the Chinese agent as long as you trust us. So this is my own account on, on, on Instagram. This is me. This is my 6,000 followers. And you can check a lot of things. I do a lot of other trainings. I've been into this business for a while. So you can check. Um, this was my book that I wrote last year on sales, how to make sales. This was me in WFM, by the way, WFM 91.7. This was my humble beginning. This was around 2015. So you can see this was my book. Um, this was the book I, I wrote on sales, how to make sales in, in Nigeria, how to sell online. This book sold over 1.3 million in the first month. I mentioned it yesterday. So this is not why you are here anyways. Now, if you now want to procure your product, like I mentioned, I'm going to give you the WhatsApp number of our agent in China. We have different agents. I'm going to give you their WhatsApp numbers. So all you have to do is to send them a message. Just send them a message. Hi, my name is so, 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 and so, and I want to procure products. Then you are going to copy this thing. You know, you've listed this, the name of the wristwatch, 
the link, the price, um, the color, the quantity you want, and then all you have to do is just to copy it and send it to them on WhatsApp. When you send it to them on WhatsApp, they are going to send you an invoice, a proper invoice. Now, let me see if I can get a copy of the invoice. I have to tell one of my staff to send it to me, but we don't have that time now because we are, we are running against time. So what you have to do is to send your link to the, to the agent. The agent will send you an invoice in PDF format, standard invoice that will carry the name of the product. It will carry all these things, the same thing you are buying, the price and everything. It will carry the detail of the price of in each of the products and the total amount you are supposed to pay in RMB. So all you have to do is the invoice will come in, in, in RMB, the total will come in RMB. So because you already know the exchange rate, like I mentioned, exchange rate is between 75 to 78 now. So depending on the day you want to procure, the agent will tell you the exchange rate. If it's 75, if it's 78, you use. So once you do it, you are going to do the total. If the total of your, let's assume the total of all these things here. Let's assume the total is um, maybe 2000 RMB. So all you are going to do is to multiply it by 2000 times 675, 150,000. So that means the total of everything that you are buying is 150,000. So all you are going to do is you are going to pay, they're going to give you DGV's company account. Like I mentioned, it's not necessarily that if you are using DigiView, if you are using other company, they are going to give you their own company account. But please ensure you deal with company. Don't deal with an individual. Don't deal with one person that will just say, I know how to do it. Let me help you. Deal with a company that you can verify. Deal with the company that you know that if something goes wrong, you have someone you can hold accountable. Because we ensure our, comp our goods for our customers. But let's just go ahead. So. If, you've, if they've given you that your total amount is 2,000 RMB, so you convert it to Naira and you pay the Naira equivalent to a Nigerian account. So you don't have to worry about looking for RMB, looking for how to do exchange and all that. You are going to send the total like this to the Nigerian account, to the, to the company's account that you are using. Like I mentioned, in case you are not using DigiView, any account, any company you are using, Make sure it's their company account you are sending it to. Make sure. And of course, you can go on CAC and verify any company. If you want to verify DigiView, go. Hello everyone, this is still Equipa training and um, Equipa is organized by Women Radio 91.7. Equipa is an initiative of Women Radio with a mandate to empower women and girls where they would learn skills to be financially independent. You will agree with me that this training has been very robust and interesting. Um, why we wait for Mr. Emmanuel? please drop your questions and whatever you may want him to address in the chat box. Thank you.
Mr. Emmanuel, we cannot hear you. We can see your screen, but we can't hear you, sir. If you can hear me, please let me know. Someone said we can't hear you. Please, I need to know if you, you all can hear me so I- I can hear you now. Okay, Loud okay. And clear. Okay, okay, thank you. So I'm trying to look for um, the packaging, how the goods arrive, when they arrive. We actually rebranded. So we archived some of our of our social media posts. That is why we are seeing, because we have a lot of posts, videos and all that, but we have to archive them because we rebranded um, some of our, a lot of things. So I don't have them. I'll have to talk to them to have. So they are going to pack everything together for you in one box and seal it with your name and send it to you. So that way, your goods are not coming in, in bits. Your goods are not coming in separate, in, in separate um, entities. So I used to tell people, even in Lagos, if you want to send someone to Ekoi Dumata, where you buy some things in wholesale, you want to send them to go and buy something of this volume, and you just tell them, don't worry, go to, excuse me, go to Ekoi Dumata, I want you to go and buy these things for me. You are going to pack it, you are going to arrange it, you are going to help me send it to, to maybe Abuja from Lagos. And I, I, if you ask me how much you pay me, I'll just say 4,000. Some people will tell you that you are not even serious. Talk more of the fact that it's a full grown company. You can see the, we have staff. This is my manager in China, like I mentioned. So we do a lot of, I'm trying to see why we don't even have. Um... Okay, if you check these things on mobile, they should open for you to see a lot of things because there are a lot of um, feedbacks that you are going to see. So I tell people that why trying to run away from saying you don't want to buy through agents, you want to buy it yourself. It is always very dangerous because if you buy yourself and maybe the goods didn't come complete, what do you do? If you buy yourself and the goods didn't come at all, what do you do? Who do you hold responsible? But here, if you buy your goods through, if you send your money through DGV Nigeria Limited, a registered company, if your goods didn't come, you can go to their office, you can arrest somebody, you can go to, you can, you have someone here in Nigeria you can hold responsible. It's not like, unlike, okay, if you go on our, if you go on our page, if you click on this link, it will take you to a, a telegram group where you have free access to this training, free training that you can have access to so a lot of other information that you'll be needing. So this is just for your own advantage. So I always tell people, it's always important for you to, know that your business, if you are going to be doing all this for you, you should pay a certain amount, which is just 4,500 for 20 links. And then if you want to ask me, what if the link is not up to 20? Is this still going to be 60 RMB? Yes. So it's between one to 20 links. It's between one to 20 links. That's 60 RMB. That is very, very cheap if you ask me very very cheap compared to what they will do for you because of course the staff of course the company has to make profit we have a warehouse in china that we have to help you receive your goods because the goods is coming from different locations let me show you something like this particular product now this company look at their location zenjan i don't know how to pronounce it now if you look at this particular one let's look at the location Look at this one, Kuzo. So all of them, they're in different locations. You, you are going to see, you are, you are seeing everything here. I see, okay, look at this soap now. Let's look at where this soap is. Look at this one, this one is in Guangzhou. Now you see, everything is on this website. It looks like everything is just in one place. But it will shock you to know that 
they are in different locations. The people that these factories are in different locations, different. And you know that China is like three size, three times the size of Nigeria. The population of Nigeria is approximately 200 million. The population of China is approximately 1.3 uh, 1.3 billion. So you know that China is very very big. So if something is coming from Lagos to Abuja, for example, it's not the same time it will take for something that is coming from um, Ibadan to Abuja or from Kogi to Abuja. So I'm just trying to explain this thing to you. So these things are coming from different locations. So So it helps you a lot. Unlike saying you want to buy it yourself and all that. So please, always be aware of people that will tell you you can do it, you can buy it yourself. You can do it yourself, but when there's problem, who do you hold? Because this website, they don't even recognize any transaction. Like if you buy something on Jumia, and if um, there's a problem, you can go to Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is still Equip Her. Equip Her is an initiative of Women Radio with a mandate to empower women and girls where they would learn skills to be financially independent. Um, this has actually been a very enlightening training and we must thank Women Radio for doing this. And also we are thanking Mr. Emmanuel Olorusho the facilitator for this training. Um, from here, we can see that his network is bad. Kindly bear with us while we try to get him back online. Thank you.
Hello, can you hear me? Can you all hear me, please? My internet yes, we is can. disconnected. Okay, please um, give me, um, please, I can't share my screen anymore. Please give me the right to share my screen. Okay, I'm trying to share my screen and I think they're still working on that. So I just going to continue. So what I was trying to explain to you is after you have um, arranged all your links, after you have taken your time to check um, all your products you've arranged all your links, you send it to the agent. The agent will send you an invoice detailing all your links, showing you all the links you have sent with the price in front of them. And then they are going to add their procurement fee. Like I mentioned, the procurement fee is just a token that you should be willing to pay to secure your goods. Because like what my company does is in case we pay for a product, let's assume we pay for this handmade soap. And be because remember I told you that in a month, we have at least 10 million people visiting this website. So let's assume you visit this website and then you send the link and by, before the agent is able to pay for your product is already out of stock what do you do of course the agent you just contact us the agent will refund your money in naira the equivalent of this particular one so let's assume um this particular one you paid 2000 rmb let's assume this particular soap is 500 rmb so they'll deduct it and send you your 500 rmb equivalent in naira now you are paying 500 RMB, so they'll convert it to Naira and the company, like DGV will send it to your Naira account direct. You get your Naira, you get your refund. So these are one of the reasons why you should use the, the service. Like I mentioned, please do your own research. You can use Google type um, other companies that are into procurement and logistics in Nigeria so that you can, you can make your own decision don't just um, take my word for it because this is business. You want to do what works for you, but trust me, I won't be here right now if it doesn't work or if it's not worth it. So once you have taken your time to send everything to them, they are going to reply to you within um, 24 hours. You are going to get your invoice. And once you pay, you are going to wait for another seven days for them to contact you and tell you they have put you have procured your goods, the weight of your goods is uh, maybe 20 kg or 50 kg or 100 kg or whatever the weight of your product is. So you will now be required to pay 50% of the shipping fee. So if your, if your shipping fee is 20,000 or 100,000, for example, you are going to be required to pay 50% before they ship it from China. When the goods get to Lagos, our Lagos office in this address, um, when your goods get to our office, this address, they are going to call you from my office and tell you, um, or they will send you SMS first, they will send you a message either on WhatsApp or SMS. Yeah, Emmanuel, your invoice number 12345 from China has arrived. 
please pay the balance of 15 naira and come and carry your goods. So you can either do transfer or send somebody in case they are not in Lagos and send somebody to pick it up for you. Or you can go to our Lagos. important thing you need how to access the website and understand 168 very well so that is the most important thing you need i believe we can all see my screen so if that is started i'd like to move because we have almost um, just barely 45 minutes left I'd like to move a bit to how you can make sales because this is supposed to be a full-time training, including digital marketing, because how you are going to sell your product after you've imported them, um, we help you bring the goods to Nigeria. You are not going to make money if you are not selling. So the most important part is selling, which the first thing you have to do is to be able to have social media presence. From my slide yesterday that I showed you how to prepare for e-commerce sales, I talked about your social media presence, I talked about your logo, I talked about your, if you have the money, you can have a website. But now, how do you make sales? How do you maximize sales using social media? The first thing you want to do, I mentioned yesterday that there are four major problems in e-commerce, what to sell, who to sell to, how to reach the people you want to sell to, right and then another thing is the the affordability can are you selling are you selling your product to the people that can afford it because it's one thing for you to have a product you want to sell is another thing for you to have the people that can afford what you're selling especially if you want to make good margins i'll give you an example sometimes in 2019 i was in anambra i was on a flight with a lady to anambra to attend one of my staff wedding and the lady told me that um, she has been seeing my work and she's been following me on Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Now, but she has a problem. She imported some products, though she didn't learn many importations from me, but she's been following me. And so she, she imported some products and she could not sell. What products? She said sneakers, branded sneakers like Nike, Adidas, all those designer copy. Of course, they are copy, copy version of them. So that she has not been able to sell. How much are you selling? She says from 15 to 17,000 to 20,000. Where are you selling? She said school. We school, she said she's in one university in Bayelsa. So I asked her, how many Nigerian university students can afford to be paying 19,000, 20,000, 17,000 for just this kind of sneakers? Maybe they have, but you want to take your market to where people are really willing to buy and they can afford what you're selling. Because that one is a key factor. You cannot be saying, okay, I want to start selling these sneakers and then the, all the people that are going to be buying from you are going to be saying, come next month, come next month. So I'm looking for people that have the money that can afford to buy. So I said, how can you be selling such expensive sneakers for 20,000 in student environment? Yes, student has money, that's what people say. But they are not, it's not a priority to them. So you want to take your business outside the school or start targeting lecturers. Those ones have money. But you cannot be selling the right thing to the wrong people. So it is important for you to know how to sell. So how do you prepare to sell? How do you prepare to, um, to make sales? I have some of those tips on how to sell on my... Um, in my book that I, I launched, I told you I have a book, The Online Selling Manual, so I can just show you. Well, the basic thing you have to know how to do is to know how to run Facebook ads. You have to know how to run Facebook ads. And that one, it's free. If you watch some YouTube videos, this is the book that I, I launched last year and all, but that's not important now. What I want to show you is how to run Facebook ads which if you watch some YouTube videos, I have one that I can recommend. I'm going to probably grab the link and send it maybe in the comment section. But before then, there's a new hot cake in town called Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace 
is where people make a lot of money from these days. Some of you must have been seeing it on your Facebook account, but without even, without even noticing it. I'm going to open my Facebook account for you to see right now. Now, this is my Facebook account. But if you open your Facebook, why you open your Facebook, either on your phone or on your laptop, if you notice, it's not everybody that has the feature yet, but if you have it, if you see this particular button, you see it looks like a house. That's the marketplace. If you check this one. Okay, I'm trying to see a chat. I see someone dropped a chat. I'm trying to read it. How long does it take to get products in Nigeria? It takes between, what, immediately you pay for the product, they are, the buying process is between five to seven days. That's one week. So the shipping also now takes between So everything is between two to three weeks for to get to Nigeria. Hello. Okay, I want to believe you cannot hear me now. Sorry, the network is messing with me. So if you check here, if you check your Facebook account, either your Facebook account or your Facebook app, if you check it, you should see the marketplace icon. It's not everybody that has it here, but if you have it, congratulations. That's a new way of making a lot of money because there's a way I teach people how to actually drop ship and also put their product here and be selling and reach a lot of people. I've sold a lot of products. You can see 34 minutes ago, I'm still getting a message. 45 people sent you messages about your listing. You see? So I have 41 people sent you message about your listing. Let me show you. So it is very, very good for you to know how to use these things to make sales, how to run Instagram ads, how to put some product. Let me show you. I think there are some product I decided to sell as an individual. I use my personal account to sell them. So I want you guys to see how you can do that. So the first thing we talked about branding in, in the e-commerce session yesterday, where I said you should have your logo and all that. Now, this is one of the products I'm selling in Nigeria today. Let me show you. Nigeria Car Doctor. Now, if I didn't tell you, you won't know I'm the owner of this website. Oops. Niger Car Doctor. So if I didn't tell you, you won't know I'm the owner of this website. I have a lot of websites that we use to make sales. You just see you are scrolling, you are scrolling on, your, on your Facebook and you just see, um, what's it called? You just see a product. Now, this Niger Car Doctor is a very, very good product. And I'll show you how much I'm selling, and you see how much I bought it in China. So you see that there's no lies here. You can find out about stop mechanic trans error, blah, 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 blah. Now, this product is what we call car scanner. This product will scan your car. It will diagnose your car to tell you what is wrong with your car before you take it to the mechanic. We all don't like try and error. Your car might be having headaches. You, you, you take it to the mechanic and mecha your mechanic will tell you your car is having stomach ache or malaria. So to cut engine problem, there's a lot of things this thing plays. <laughs> I'm already getting tired. It reads code, it reads code, blah, 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 blah. So you see, this is the product. Now look at the price I'm selling it for, 20,500. Now let's look at how much the product is selling for. 
So for us to know, we can do image search again. I don't know why this image search is not working. Let me copy it and paste it in another, another place. I want you all to see how this image thing works, image search works. Uh -huh. It's loading. Remember that sneakers we downloaded from, from this website that we are looking for another supplier. You can see now, look at other people selling the same thing. So it gives you more opportunity and look at them. They have brilliant prices, 129, 45, 47, 48, 56. You see, different 85, you see different prices. So you can now have more options, more suppliers at your disposal, you see? The more you keep scrolling down, it's more, the more it will keep loading for more, you see? So this is a very good way to, to, to do it. So let's look for, I'm trying to look for the, for that particular product. Oops. Okay, so Nigeria Doctor, this is the scanner. You see, I'm selling it for 20,000. How do you want to know for sure if it's me, if it's for me? If you click, if you click here and send a message, you will see it will go to, it will take you to my customer service line or look at this number. If you look at this number, it's the same customer service line here as the same one here. If you check it, this same number, 0817-1734464, is the same thing here. 0817174344. So you see that it's, it's my company, but you can't know that I own it. So this is how we e-commerce people make a lot of money. So you can just run ads on Facebook. So let's see how we can look for these products now. So I can just download the picture, one of the pictures. So let's assume I'm not even the owner of this website. I just saw it and I think ah, this product will sell, I should be able to sell it. So all I'll just do is just to download the picture. So the picture has been downloaded. So I'll just go to 1688. So you see this one we did now. So I just go to 1688.com. I'm here now. And the next thing I'll do is to click on the image icon. And then it will open where I downloaded the picture. I'll select the picture and click on open. It's as simple as that. You see that I didn't press any other thing. It will automatically go and search for the, unless if it's not giving you the exact result that you are getting right now, I'm getting right now, just know maybe your network is messed up. So all you have to do is just to do it again. Because like this one now, it's supposed to be loading already, but since it's not loading, I can go ahead and click again. and try it and it's still not loading. So maybe I have to refresh, to refresh the page. And that's what we are going to do. So look at how I decided to sell this product now. Now I saw this product and I see it as a very good potential because almost everybody, I have two cars I have two cars and my, 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 my Benz doesn't um, give me much problem, but the date gives me problem and I visit the mechanic. I spend nothing less than like 1500K. So when I have this one, I know it's easy for me to scan it and know what is wrong with the, with the, with the car before I even go to the mechanic. Or if it's my wife's car, I know I scan it first before going to the mechanic. So I know it's a good resource for everybody. So, Instead of me to just start selling it like that, I decided to do one thing different. Huh? So I tried to do something different. I tried to do something different by just, by just coming up with something like this. First, I name it Nigeria Doctor. Remember yesterday, I gave you some steps you should take before launching your e-commerce store. So those steps, so those steps are the ones that 
that I've put in place here. You see, I name it Nijaka Doctor. We talked about naming. Look at the logo, Nijaka Doctor, and look at the sales page I set up for it. Very simple sales page, talk about what it does, show picture. And you see all these things that it's showing here. On that side, I just, just place order. All these things is a lie. Oh. <laughs> you see, Oinlola from Lagos, just place order. This thing in marketing, we call it um, FOMO. F O M O. FOMO means fear of missing out. I'm giving you too much information this morning, this afternoon. These are some marketing secrets. So this thing you see, Mr. Mr. Hakim from Lagos, just place order for one piece. Is what we call fear of missing out. So it's popping up so that each time you see it, you think, ah, if I didn't place order for this thing, it will go out of stock now. And I don't want to miss out. So that is what this one is doing. So you see how I set it up? This thing is simple. It's what I can teach you how to do. You see on that fire from Jones, just place order. So you can see it. So if you fill this form now, you see, if you fill this form now and just um, go ahead to place order, it will send it to you. But look at the price we are putting to it. So I just want to show you how much I bought it from. Ah, why is this network showing me Shige today? Oh, let me do something. This network is showing me Shige. So I'm trying to do image search again. My network is messing up. Yeah, I can type the product name. I just want to show you. I can type the product name. Um, you can call it OBD car scanner. You see different types different types. Okay, let me just copy this one. I, I think this is the name. So let me just search. Network is giving me headache. Okay. So let's search. So yesterday during the class, I showed you how to search for products using three different methods. You that type the name, you see, it's not giving me what I want by just typing the name. So I can use another name. Let me just use car scanner. Okay, we have different types. Okay, this is what we are looking for. So ladies and gentlemen, you see, this is this, this is the exact one I'm selling. You see the price, 64 RMB, I'm selling it for 20,000, by the way, can you see it? You see how much we are selling it for, 20,000 Naira. Now look at it here, 64 RMB. So how much is 64? 64 times, 75 and it's not up to 75 then so 4800 so let's assume on shipping and procurement fee and everything let's assume it costs you 7000 for something you are buying for 7000 and you are selling for 22000 20000 20500 of course we put including free delivery nationwide so let's assume the landing cost for this is 7000 which is not up to i think it's around 6350 for the landing cost of this when, when we brought it in now, let's assume we have someone placing order from Abuja and the product is in Lagos. It cannot cost us maximum of 4,000 to send it into anywhere in Nigeria. So let's add 4,000 to 6,350. 6,350 plus 4,000. 
So 10,350. And then they are paying 20,500. So you are still making 10,500 on one, on this particular product. On one, look at it. You see why it's not good to lie, Abby? Before you say, Manuel is just here giving us boo-boo. <laughs> you know we Nigerians. And look at the video. Now my own, I didn't use this particular package branding. I use, I use, you can choose this particular one or you can choose for it to be in a box. You see it, very good product. Highly recommended for anybody that has a car. So you see, and there are different types. This one used Bluetooth. These ones are old models. That's why you see it's cheap, 19 RMB, 9 RMB. These ones, they use Bluetooth, it's cheap. But this one, you don't need any Bluetooth. You don't need anything. Just plug, you just, every car has the, the, this particular plug. Just plug it and you are good to go. You see? And again, you can download this video. You can download this video. You download it, the next thing you want to start doing is to start running ads. Put your name and phone number on it. Just the way we did, um, hey, look at this product I sold. This is ring light. This is ring light. This ring light, for this side, I, I used this one in my studio yesterday. For those of you that were in, in my office and in the training yesterday, this 21 inches ring light. It make up at least that uses it. It has, you can use your, you can connect phone, you see. Now this particular ring light, they are selling it in Nigeria for about 40, about 50K, 45, 50K. You can Google it, 21 inches cast, um, ring light. You can check it on Jumia. I don't want to go over it. So you see, but look at what I did. I downloaded it, I added music, and I put my logo on it. This is my old logo, and I'm selling. I think there's other products like that that I've done. So I downloaded the video like this from the website. So you can see how it works. So you can see this good. This is how goods arrived. When I was trying to tell you, this is how your goods, they'll pack everything. This is my office in Lagos. You can see my staff. You see all my staff working. You see them. So this is what I'm talking about. When I was saying, you see, these are your goods. These are different goods. These are all the stuff you are seeing. It contains different goods for different. So we'll, we'll put everything together inside one um, packing. So you can see that everything is, everything is well sorted. I'm looking for other products that I've sold personally, personally without you creating some special, some special um, brand for it. Look at this wristwatch. You see, we downloaded the wristwatch video, just like this one, we downloaded the video. And you can see, you can see how we have turned it, put our logo on it. You can put your phone number, please order now. You see, as this was January, 2020, a year ago. Look at this wristwatch. So this is just how you can go about it. I have to rush now because I have to go and catch a train back to Abuja, like I mentioned. Um, yesterday, I told you guys that I had, a, I had this training at University of Ibadan. This is the pictures. So um, I'm, I'm going to run now so I can start heading back to the train station right now. But if you have any question, please just ask in another few minutes now. Let me just take your questions so that, um, we can take it off from here later on. For more questions or if you need anything, like I mentioned, if you follow DGV on social media, there's a link, there's a Telegram link, like on Darnet is like this one. If you click on it, it will take you to a group. It's free to join the group. And you're going to learn how to do this more. You're going to learn more. There's a video that you're going to watch that has been recorded that you can actually access. So I want to believe you've gotten value today. If you have any question, please, this is the time to ask. Okay, the agent's number, that one is not a problem. You can easily um, just um, grab the agent's number from our social media pages. Let me just show you. I can easily get you that one. That one is not a problem. Just, 
I don't have the numbers offhand. That's why, but if there's one website, I don't know why those guys don't have the agent number on this website. Well, I have to talk to them. Those, these are some of our clients, past and present, those are people that we have procured for. And there's one thing I want to show you before I go. Ah, I don't want to forget this. How many of us know wristbands, bracelets? Please send your questions and comments here. Ahem. Please, of course, you can send it there. There's these wristbands that you see, if you are a Christian, maybe if you attend Redeem, you see everybody wear Redeem, um, what is the theme for each year, even winners, all those wristbands. They sell them for 150, 200 at each, at each camp. Do you know that those things, like there's one we even did for Don Jazzy, we've done for different brands. Do you know those things cost between 20 naira to 30 naira, and they sell for 150? So I'm going to be sharing a lot of things with you, but time is not, on our side, so I have to run now. Please drop your questions, drop your questions. I have to start running now. You have the next five, 10 minutes to ask your questions or you can send the questions to projects at wfm1.7.com so that you'll get a, a, a response. So I believe you've gotten value. Please, if you have gotten value, if these two days has been worth your time, please just let me know, please send me the information. But for now, I'm trying to pack my computer to start heading back to, to the train station. Doki, why don't Brother. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Women Radio 91.7 FM appreciates your engagement and candle that um, you have contributed to this workshop. This workshop has been present in coming to grips with important changes taking place around the world, such as increased buying and selling of goods and services over the internet the new generation having a different relationship to technology, greater numbers of mini businesses owners who are also importers and lots more. This mini importation training and e-commerce training has actually given us a better understanding of the challenges faced in the industry, the standards and local conditions and everything that applies. So from everything that has been said, everyone can tell right now that commerce plays an important role in the lives of humans and technology makes it better. That is why e-commerce has become such a relevant topic in our generation. On behalf of Women Radio, we are saying thank you, a very big thank you to Mr. Emmanuel Oloroshon, who took our time from his business, busy schedule to train us all. And we hope that in the future, when we call on you again, Mr. Emmanuel, you will answer us. Thank you very much. Thank you to everybody who have stayed um, put on, um, to this training. I'm sure everyone learned several important insights and actions, uh, um, action items that were accomplished through this training, which has been robust and enlightening, learning the basics and intricacies of mini importation and e-commerce. I believe that every participant has learned something tangible, something tangible. And I personally want to express my gratitude to you all for attending this training and share your experiences and thoughts. I hope you all will use the knowledge gained from the training um, to contribute to the national development of Nigeria. So um, before we go, um, we just want to tell you to please send your questions and comments to projects at wfm 917 wfm917.com I'll take that again project at wfm917.com thank you very much for joining us we appreciate and we are saying thank you have a very good afternoon <laughs>